Hey, you're listening to Sin. I'm Dominic, and I'm joined by uh, one of the members of the Acacia Strain, Jack. How are you? I'm doing fine, thanks. How are you going? <laughs> I'm going all right. Um, you guys are down here uh, at the end of April, between the 23rd of April and the 4th of May, uh, with the rest of the band uh, on a headlining tour called Australiavania. Uh, we must treat uh, we must treat the Acacia Strain well down here because uh, I've been lucky enough to see uh, the guys uh, play in Byron Bay, in Tari, in Newcastle, in Sydney, every time on a different tour. So, do you guys enjoy Australia a lot, or? Yeah, that's right. I mean, it's uh, probably I could on behalf of the rest of the band that it's our favorite place to tour um, because uh, aside from the nightmarish flight over there uh, it's quite nice there with the beaches and all the pies and everyone's super nice and friendly <laughs> and the shows are fantastic so it's great cool cool um, your most recent album uh, Death is the Only Mortal is the first record um, that's been put out on, on Rise after being on prosthetic records for quite a long time so what sparked the, the change why the move to the new label uh, because it was about that time uh, we had been with prosthetic for uh, too long at that point and uh, it really just wasn't a good fit for us and we spoke with Craig who owns Rise and um, we clicked immediately and uh it's been really great. It's been a super positive experience. Um, I know we caught a bunch of shit about it because everyone's like, oh, you guys are going to sound weird now because we're on a different label, but mm-hmm. that has nothing to do with anything. So, uh, I don't know. Rise has been really great. Anytime we come to them with an idea about something we'd want to do, they're all for it rather than that prosthetic where we were getting shot down left and right for things. So, it's definitely um, opened up a lot more experiences uh, for us. That's cool. That sounds like it's it's really working out then. We love it. Um, speaking of Rise Records, uh, it looks like uh, former bandmate uh, DL is going to be a label mate from now on as part of uh, Legend. Uh, was his leaving the band... I heard a, about that. Yeah. Was his leaving the band a surprise or, or was it uh, a long time coming? Did you guys sort of know it was happening? Uh, no, we totally knew it was happening and we all talked about it and that seemed to be the best situation for everybody. So it was... Uh, a pretty clean cut. I mean, as far yeah. as all that's considered, it was it was great, you know? Cool, cool. There wasn't any weirdness or bad blood or anything. Ah. Um, so, because in the past, he was, a, he was a fairly strong part of the, the songwriting process and also of production. So is there a chance that uh, when you're... So you're recording something in the moment, so I take it he's probably not uh, producing this next record then? That's correct. Oh. <laughs> uh, we're... We're in the machine shop with Will Putney. Oh, okay. Um, so with the uh, new guys in the band, who's taking on the majority of the songwriting duties? Is that yourself or...? Uh, it's been nice because with uh, we have Devin and Richie now, and it's been a much more collaborative experience uh, in terms of putting together the songs for this record than it has been for the past few records, um, which has been a nice change of pace. I would say, um, and uh, yeah, with those two guys as our guitar players now, it it, um, it makes for uh, I guess a much nicer experience. It was, it was great that's and cool. different than working on the last record, so I liked it. Yeah, that's cool. So I'm guessing it's not going to be a major departure from from uh, previous records, or are you guys really sort of like you said uh, you were you were throwing things out there, ideas to rise that they were saying yes. So is this next record going to be? Are you going to be throwing out experimental parts? or ideas or are you going to sort of are the songwriting still sort of in the same wheelhouse I think there will definitely be some of that um, some of both of those things actually uh, I think it's the new material is still very respectful of the sound that the band has built prior to this and it also opens up uh sort of a new future for it as well and there will be some more experimental things on it but there will still it's it'll still be the same band you know Mm -hmm. cool um i I do have a i had a question here that was for vincent but maybe maybe you might know you might know the answer to this uh well the problem is is vincent is on vocal rest right now uh meaning he can't talk Uh, Ah. he's been um basically a mute for the past couple of days and been only communicating through us through a text-to-speech program on his computer, which um, is quite silly, actually. Really? What, what happened? Like, so he's on vocal rest. Has he done something to his voice, or...? Uh, yeah, we're in the studio recording a record, and uh, he was doing some vocals and uh, was pushing it, uh, I guess, a little too hard. And um, so he's taking a minute to take a break now. Fair enough. 
Do you know if there's any more plans for um, Shut In or for Cock Punch or for any other side projects that he's doing? There definitely will be. I uh, I know that much. I don't know anything about any of the stuff that may happen, uh-huh. but I do know that those projects are not dead. <laughs> Alrighty, that's cool. That's that leaves a bit of mystery at the at the end of this. That's that's cool. Um, so yeah. everybody should go see uh, the Australiavania tour. It's uh, Graves, Aversions Crown, and the Acacia Strain. It's uh, going to be here in Melbourne at Bang on the 26th of April, and there's going to be an all ages show on the 27th at the Arrow on Swanston. Um, thanks you. Uh, thanks again so much, Jack, for talking with me today. Thank you for having me. It was a pleasure. Yeah.